government like no kalau problem inshallah we come to bila one question from this one from this doctor there is another question from another hindu brother his name is rajin and he hails from kerala and his question is recently there has there was an incident in kerala that triggered uh, uh, a lot of controversy uh, this incident was a young man came up and chopped off the hands of a college professor what made them do this was that the said professor had prepared a question a uh, paper for a college uh, that provoked uh, last day me and the professor lasal uh, is this uh, any way okay is that there was a question that the muslim in kerala and i know this was in the media for the past past few weeks and the professor wrote certain questions again from the salam in the examination of muslim in the job of hand we have to follow the law of the country the islamic state you have to take him to a to a kazi but in india not being islamic state you can't take the law in your hand so it's not part of islam but the point to be noted here is a few years back a communist attacked a bjp leader in kerala and killed him that didn't come in news why but my question is a communist JP professor who spoke promoted hinduism this communist killed him it came as news brief finish now this muslim talks of the hand it's coming for days together why why that my question is why both are wrong but the bigger crime is killing chopping of hand is also wrong but smaller crime for the big crime it comes news brief one day finish now this case so much that it is the person asking me I, I doubt whether the Hindu asking the question knows that the Hindu was killed by a communist in Kerala. You know that I'm sure no. What we have to know that we being in the field, we should try and do what is right. But that is Islam is a religion of peace. What the person did is wrong. What happens, as I mentioned earlier in my talk, they pick up the blasphemy of the community and they portray as though they exist. This is commonly happening in India. It is not unique, but when a Muslim does it, it highlights, and everyone thinks only Muslim do it. As I told you, Maoist, what the Maoist killed Indians is the maximum in number. What the Hindus kill, Hindu terrorist organization, is much more than what the Muslims do. That doesn't justify it. It gives right for a Muslim to kill another Muslim. No. I am not trying to justify that because the Hindus kill even the Muslim can kill. What I am trying to tell you, what the Muslim is doing is misguided. He is a black sheep of the community, but yet he is a minority as compared to the non-Muslim. So we have to let this be known to the media. So this is the double standard of the media. Double standard of the media. So this is how they, like you know, people. Uh, people ask me in the Indian press that the oh, Muslims are terrorists. I said, "Don't worry, you join the Western media." So I ask them the question: Do you consider Bhagat Singh to be terrorist? They say no. I said, "No, I don't consider him to be terrorist." When the same UK people 60 years back called Bhagat Singh a terrorist, I disagree. You disagree. Now the same UK media, Western media, calling Muslim terrorist, I disagree. Double standard. So, so then they say nothing. Bhagat Singh, when the Western media says terrorist, we say no, he is a patriot. But the same Western media blaming the Muslim and you are biased. So why is it double standard? To do a research, there may be black sheep among the Muslims, but why do you just agree with what the Western media says without really checking? Okay.